Hello and welcome to Victorian Ghost Stories. I'm Eleanor Appleton and I will be taking you on a journey of torture, magic and ghoulish tales. I'm stood on a bridalway in the estate of Selsden Park Hotel and this bridalway was the centre of mythology and folklore in the Victorian era. Stories of this bridalway were told to travellers and drinkers in public houses and as cautionary tales to children throughout the southeast of England and beyond. The story begins in 1856 when three young lads from the east end of London travelled out here to the Surrey countryside to work at Selston Park Hotel. One was a doorman, one was a bellboy and the third was a waiter. They were friends from a very young age. They made their passage by pickpocketing on Savile Row. Their destination was Selston Park Hotel, as they knew it was a favourite destination for the leisuring classes of the time. The three lads planned to put their carefully honed pickpocketing skills into practice and take little and often as not to raise suspicion. However, Complaints from the guests about their lost valuables did raise suspicion and unfortunately for the three lads from the East End of London there was an ex-detective from Scotland Yard who was spending his twilight years as the head of security at Selston Park Hotel. Mr John Bean was infamous for his success at Scotland Yard. He was also well known for how he dealt with offenders. He would often lead the youngest and most brutal policemen in the force to the doorstep of the offender and let them teach the offender a lesson, which would often leave the offender in a state of hospitalisation. One cold wintry day, much like the one today, Mr John B had engineered a plan to corner the boys the bridal he was one step ahead of them and employed the services of seven young policemen from the local force to come in at several different angles and the young boys in the woods next to the bridal park. By the time the boys realised that they had been trapped, it was too late for them to get away. Legend has it that Mr John B said only a few words have been caught red-handed, then turned on his heel and walked back to the hotel along the bridal path. All he heard as he walked away was screams from the young boys. The myths tell of barbaric things happening to those three boys at the hands of those policemen. Torture, hanging and beatings until dead. Ever since that day, there have been reports of strange sounds in the woods that line these bridal paths. Sounds of laughter and coins dropping, blood-curdling screams. Some reports even say that they have seen bodies hanging from the trees. 